keep feeling like I'm going to burp before I film videos. Come on. Burp. Burp. You got this. <coughs> mm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to share with y'all my updated skincare routine. My skin has been so kind to me recently, and I truly believe it's because of the products that I'm putting on my face. So I figured it was time I shared them with y'all because I've just, I felt really good about my skin. Maybe it's the fact that winter is over and it's starting to warm up here in Texas so my skin is happy again. But my skin has been very, very happy and so I've just been wanting to share this with you guys. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you stick around by subscribing. And without further ado, let's get into my favorite skincare product slash my skincare routine. I mean, obviously they're favorites, but this is like my skincare routine. And this has been my skincare routine for like a long time. So excited to share it with you. Okay, let's get into it. First off, step one, always removing your makeup or kind of pre-cleansing the skin with a makeup wipe or some sort of a makeup remover. For me, the one I love is the Wipe Your Face Off Makeup Removing Wipes from Formula 1006. I talk about these all the time. And literally, if you have not tried these, you have to try them. I keep trying to convince my friends to buy these and only use these, and they don't always listen to me, but they need to because, y'all, these are amazing. They smell delicious. They are so good for sensitive skin. They remove all of your eye makeup, and I'm never, like, tugging or anything crazy at my face. This just gets rid of everything. They're so good, and I also love Formula 1006 as a brand, but I'd highly recommend these. And they have been a staple in my skincare routine for a long time. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel, pretty much since the beginning of my channel, I've been using the Formula 1006 Wipe Your Face Off Wipes, and I love them. I'm the biggest advocate for them, and their packaging's adorable and pink and pretty, and they're cruelty-free, so yes. For cleansing the skin, I have been loving my Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I picked this up about a month ago, and you can tell it's well-loved. I've already used a ton of it, but this is so good. It is probably one of the smoothest cleansers I have ever used. It's so gentle on the skin, and it removes all of your makeup. I will actually even go over my eyes with this, and it just gets rid of everything. And it's really, really good. And it's reasonably priced. You get a good amount of product for how much you pay. I believe it retails for like $20 or $22. But it's really good. I love it. Glossier, I just, I love. You guys know this. But, mmm. Best, best cleanser in the world. Do I still need to say more things about this? I don't know. I feel like I didn't talk about it enough. But it's really good and I love it. And that has become my staple. I love it way more than my Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel, which I used for over a year. And I think I've officially switched to this one, which is kind of shocking because I really love the one from Mario Badescu. Next, Glossier Solution. I just posted, or I'm about to post, a review video of this solution. I don't know what's going up first, this video or the solution review, but this has changed my skin, and I'm not lying. You guys can see how much of it I've used. I've gone through a third to almost a half of this container, but I use this one or two times a day depending on how my skin is feeling, but it has cleared my skin. My skin looks brighter, and it looks really good, and I've been using it for, sheesh, four weeks, over four weeks. And I'm really, really impressed. And so if you guys are having skin concerns and you want to give something a try, I would suggest this because it is life-changing, y'all. Life-changing. After I go in with the Glossy Solution, I always follow up with the Lapis Oil. And you guys know I love this. I've talked about this tons on my channel, and I know it's really expensive, and so I hate talking about really expensive products. But for me, this has been the best moisturizer, skin balancer, acne controller that I've used. If you have something else that you love, comment it down below so that you can be like, hey, y'all, you know, Diana has a suggestion, and she loves this, but this is what's worked for me, so that we can kind of, like, discuss and have more things than just what I love. But if you guys want to know really what I'm using on my skin, it's this. Morning and night, and it's amazing. It's all that's on my skin right now, because right now I don't have any makeup on at all. I went in with my cleanser, then the solution, and then the lapis oil. So that's where we're at right now with my kind of a little bit more shiny face, just because I haven't mattified anything, and whatever. You guys get it. For lips, I love the Glossier Balm.com. I know there's a lot of Glossier in this video, but it's because their skincare really has worked for me. Usually I use the Rose Balm.com. I'm actually not a really big fan of the cherry. I don't really like the scent. It kind of grosses me out. But I use this every single day. 
and I would show you guys the rosebalm.com, but it's currently in my husband's car, and I'm freaking out, y'all. <sighs> because I want it, and it's in his truck, and he's at work, and I just, <sighs> I miss it. I'm really sad. At night, I'm still using my Pure Organics Under Eye Tightening Gel. Ever since I started using this about a year ago, I have never been able to use anything else. And so, as you guys can see, I'm almost done with this and I'm gonna have to be picking up a new one soon because I'll be really sad once it's all gone. I also decided that I wanted to talk about face masks a little bit in this video because basic skincare routine, makeup wipes, cleanse your skin, go in with a toner or something like a solution, moisturizer, under eye gel, lips. That's pretty much skincare, the basics, but face masks are also a huge part of my skincare routine, so I wanted to mention them as well. I love the blue tansy mask. I'll do this one every other day or maybe two to three times a week, depending on how good I'm being about my skincare, but I love this. This is a resurfacing mask, but I do use it hand in hand with a solution, and I have no issues with over exfoliating, but these products are really, really gentle. This one really helps with making sure my skin stays clear and balanced, as well as just exfoliating any dead skin and making sure my pores are nice and clear, so I love how this works. It's a mask that has been really, really good, and this is a really good sized jar that came in the True Blue set from Herbivore Botanicals that I think retails for $29 and you get the blue tansy mask as well as a mini of the lapis oil. So it's a really cool little kit and I would highly recommend that one. But all my other face masks that I love are drugstore. You are welcome you guys because I know that a lot of this isn't really drugstore and so I've been kind of annoying. But y'all, I've just... <sighs> Luxurious skincare is really life-changing, and I found that I wear less makeup when my skin looks better. So when I take care of my skin and my body, there's just a huge difference. So all these masks are from Formula 1006, and I'm dropping them like crazy, but I love all of these, and they're all really, really good. So the first one is the Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask. I love this when I'm having breakouts or just skin that's driving me nuts. And honestly, I haven't had to use this since I've started using the Glossier Solution. But if I'm ever feeling like my skin is just feeling clogged and not clear, I will grab this in a heartbeat. It smells really good. It kind of tingles on the skin and then it dries down and you just wash it off with a washcloth. But really, really nice mask. I love this one. I also love the Draw It All Out Skin Detoxing Peel Mask. This is almost a dupe for the Bosha charcoal peel mask. It's pretty much the same thing, but this one does have a stronger fragrance, which I wish it didn't. I love Formula 1006, but sometimes their products are a little bit too fragrant for me. But this did a really good job of just clearing out my skin. I found charcoal masks aren't the best to get rid of blackheads. Like I feel like whatever you use to get rid of blackheads, just masks don't masks don't always do it for me. The solution and using the blue tansy mask have really helped, but this was actually a really nice charcoal peel off mask. I felt like it did the exact same thing the Bosha one does. And so if you guys want to see a side by side, I could totally do that. But you know, I did feel like this pulled out some stuff from my skin and cleared it out a little bit. So this is one of those masks I'd love to incorporate into my skincare more often, maybe once or twice a week because it is super gentle on the skin. So this is a mask you could use more than once. The other one I really like is the Be Berry Bright Exfoliating Mud Mask. This has coffee in it and it smells like coffee and I love it and it's kind of exfoliating. It dries down like a mud mask but when you wash it off the coffee kind of just like scrubs your face and so it's really really nice doing this. I try to do this maybe every other week just kind of like as a little skin like I mean, it says Be Berry Bright. It just brightens your skin up and I really like this a lot. Then the Be Berry Awake Energizing Peel Mask is really, really fun on days where your skin just needs a little oomph and you just want it to look a little bit brighter. Maybe you're going to a wedding or maybe you've got an important meeting. Pop this on in the morning. It'll dry while you're eating breakfast and then you just peel it off and apply makeup and your skin feels really, really nice. Love that. And the other one is the Seaside Glow Skin Hydrating Peel Mask. I also love the get your glow on mask from Formula 1006, but I like this one better. It is blue, which is my favorite color, but 
it just feels so good on the skin it smells really yummy and your skin literally feels so hydrating after you use this and it looks all glowy and pretty so this is definitely a new favorite and i need the full size i got this in a little travel kit from formula 1006 and so eventually i'll need to purchase the full size of this anyways you guys so that is the end of my skincare that's what i've been using and loving and my skin has been feeling really really good and it's taken me a long time to say that, and I really, truly believe it's these products that have changed my skin. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I'm still taking my Hum Nutrition, <laughs> Hum Nutrition Vitamins every single day. And they've also really helped with my skin. I don't know if you guys care anymore or want an update on that. I know especially given the circumstances of like certain beauty gurus releasing vitamin lines that you probably don't care about vitamins anymore but i've been taking mine every day and frankly the ones i've been taking have helped so i don't know if you need to go buy other special vitamins what anyways y'all like i said that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed please stick around by subscribing comment down below what your favorite skincare items are give this video a thumbs up and check out my most recent videos right here hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see y'all next time on my channel bye y'all